.NET Framework The .NET Framework consists of Common Language Runtime and the .NET Framework Class Library. The Common Language Runtime is the foundation of .NET Framework. The CLR manages and executes code written in .NET languages and is the basis of the .NET architecture. The Common Language Runtime is just what its name says. It is runtime that is usable by different programming languages. The core features of the CLR are memory management, assembly loading, security, exception handling, threading. These features are available to all programming languages that run under the CLR. For example, the runtime uses exceptions to report errors. So all the languages that target the runtime also get errors reported via exceptions. Code that target the runtime is known as managed code, while code that doesn't target the runtime is known as unmanaged code. Class library. The class library is an object-oriented collection of reusable types that you can use to develop applications from simple to web forms and XML web services. The class library is organized in a hierarchy of namespaces. Namespaces. Namespaces are the logical grouping of related types. It reduces the chance of name collisions. For example, all the classes related to working with the file system are located in the system.io namespace. All the classes for working a Microsoft SQL Server database are located in the system.data.sql client namespace. Metadata. Metadata means data about data. It includes type definition, version information, external assembly references, Metadata is a set of data tables that describe what is defined in the module, such as types and their members. In addition, metadata also has tables indicating what the managed module references, such as imported types and their members. Assemblies Assemblies are the building block of .NET framework. It is a self-describing component. Assemblies may or may not be executable. They might exist as the executable file or dynamic link library file. All the .NET assembly contain the definition of types, versioning information for the type, metadata, and manifest. There are two kinds of assemblies in .NET, private, shared, private assemblies. A private assembly is used only by a single application and is stored in that application's root directory. Shared assemblies. It is also called strong name assemblies. Shared assembly are located in the global assembly cache. Shared assembly must contain a strong name. A shared assembly can be used by more than one application. For all the calling assemblies within the same application, the same copy of the shared assembly is used from its original location. That's why shared assemblies are not copied in the private folder of each calling assembly. Assembly contents. An assembly can consist of four elements. The assembly manifest, which contains assembly metadata, type metadata, Microsoft intermediate language, and a set of resources. Assembly manifest. Assembly is a self-describing component, means all the information that needed to reference it are kept in assembly itself. The part of manifest are identity, a list of files, a list of referenced assemblies, and a set of permission requests.